everybody and happy weekend. It is Friday morning and um, I just got out of the shower. I still have to do my hair but I did my makeup and I'm getting ready for work but today is going to be a busy Friday so I wanted to vlog uh, before I went to work and stuff. So anyway this is kind of what's going on. Um, first off, I'm going to a meet and greet today for the guinea pigs because somebody is definitely interested in them. I knew it wasn't going to take long because they're very, very pretty pigs, like I said before. And so, um, I'm going to do that at six o'clock tonight. After work, I want to get a flu shot and possibly the pneumonia shot, I'm not real sure. I heard that um, with the pneumonia vaccination, you get it like once every seven years, and I'm pretty sure I had it like within the last like three or four years. I can't remember if I had it last year. But anyway, um, so I wanna get that done. I'm just gonna go to Walgreens and do that. And then, um, let's see, and then my mom is going with me for the guinea pigs. Oh, and I am going to be opening up a P.O. box. Um, I'll get into that a little bit later on, but I cannot wait for that. That's something very, very exciting that I have been planning on doing for a long time, And but I just really didn't get around to it. And recently I had some things happen that I really just think that it's time for a P.O. box. Um, it's just like a win-win for myself and my YouTube channel and just everything all around so yeah that is happening and I thought there was something else that was going on too tomorrow I'm going to my mom's house because she is going to be gone all day so I am going to be um, taking care of the dogs going you know in and out and checking on them and stuff uh, tomorrow but oh and then my oldest daughter is visiting from um, from, well, I'm not going to say the city she lives in, but anyway, she's going to be visiting, and yeah, so it's going to be kind of a jam-packed weekend with family, so yeah, I have to do my hair and get ready for work. I was going to straighten it today, and then I thought, no, I don't have enough time to straighten it, and it's supposed to be really hot this weekend, so um, I'm just going to put it up today, but I'll check in with you guys a little bit later on. So I'm on my way to work, and look, you guys, the trees are starting to change. It is so beautiful. Um, I really, truly want to go to High Cliff sometime within the next two weeks. Um, I don't know if it's going to be with my mom or the kids, but I definitely want to get the dog there and go because these trees look so amazing. Everyone, so my day of work is over oh i got a notification on my phone sorry about that anyway i am on my way to the post office to get my uh oh gosh traffic traffic alert traffic alert anyway i'm on my way to the post office to get my p.o box and then after that i'm going to walgreens to get my flu shot and to ask about the uh notifications sorry guys and ask about the um pneumonia shot so yeah i hate shots i don't like them i used to be completely petrified in my 20s um of any type of needle shots like getting blood anything like that and now i'm a little bit better um since i went through my thyroid condition i had to get my thyroid tested a lot so i had to get poked a lot Oh, that sounds funny. I had to get poked a lot with a needle. Anyway, um, so I had to get poked a lot with a needle and you kind of get used to it after a while. But let's go to the post office. Okay, so it is really, really nice outside today. The sun is shining and it is warm. And yeah, we are on our way to the post office. Our post office is really tiny for some reason, um, maybe because our city isn't that big, but yeah, this is our little post office that we have here, and usually parking isn't too bad, and it doesn't look that bad today, so that's good. I hope that they can answer some of my questions. I have 
some confusing questions to ask the post office, but yeah, we're here. Okay, so I got my P.O. box. I was a little bit confused because I wasn't sure if I should get it for a year, for three months, for six months, but um, they were really helpful there and they answered all of my questions and I decided to get it for six months. Um, I don't know, it's really confusing, but um, you know, I didn't want to get it for a year because I'm really not sure, you know, if like this is gonna work out for me. So I just decided to get it for six months. I was gonna get it for three, but then the guy was telling me that if I get it for three, I can't really renew it after that for a year. I'd have to get an additional three. I don't know, it's really confusing, but anyway, so I got my P.O. box um, and I'm sure you guys will have already seen, I'm gonna be posting a video, but I'm sure I'm gonna post it already before this airs. Um, I'm gonna post a video as to what my P.O. box number is and why I basically got a P.O. box and all of that jazz. So right now I am ready to go to Walgreens and I am right around the corner and I am nervous because I hate shots. Oh, I have anxiety. I don't like it. But I have to do it because I am protecting myself and I am protecting the kids that I take care of, which is extremely important. So let's get this done. Well, that was a bust, like a major bust and kind of a disappointment. Um, I actually, I believe I got my flu shot at Walgreens last year, but don't quote me. I might have gone to my doctor. I, I honestly can't remember. But anyway, um, I know I've gone to Walgreens in the past and I've had the same insurance and I got up there because it's just like a walk-in thing like for the flu shot like you just walk in and they said that my insurance is not covered by the Walgreens flu shot anymore so I have to make an appointment with my doctor which I despise because like you have to make an appointment it's not just like a walk-in thing and then you have to sit there and wait to be called and then like it takes forever in the waiting room and I don't like going to doctor's offices unless I'm sick because I feel like there's more germs in the doctor's office than there is like I don't know at Walgreens because it's just like filled with sick people but then again I guess Walgreens is filled with sick people too getting medication um, but anyway so that was a bust so I'm not getting my flu shot today I'm gonna have to go home and make an appointment but I did find some cute little things um, obviously in the beauty section at Walgreens and oh my gosh I am so hot it is like roasting outside so I am on my way home I'm gonna go home and relax and then get ready to um, you know get the guinea pigs um, all set and ready to go for their meet and greet at six o'clock tonight so and that's bittersweet to me I'm like I'm happy but yet sad because I mean those guinea pigs were so good they are so pretty and they're probably some of the best guinea pigs that I've ever had out of all the guinea pigs that have come in and out of my house but um yeah so it's bittersweet I'm happy that they're getting adopted but yet I'm sad to let them go so I'll check in with you guys a little bit later on hi everybody so this is the part that I hate I hate packing up the pigs and saying goodbye to them but we are going to our meet and greet so everybody send good vibes to the pigs and hopefully they get adopted tonight and go into a home that will be good for them and that will be a good match. So here goes nothing. <laughs>
guys so it is Saturday morning and I am over at my mom's house um, my mom is going to be gone all day so I told her that I would take care of her dogs so that's kind of what I'm doing now we're just sitting outside and relaxing and Snooky Louise is just relaxing aren't you baby Snooky Snooky you gonna look at me nope she's too interested at what Teddy is doing, he's over there by the fence and God only knows what's happening over there. But, and, oh, he's taking a dump. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm just sitting at here, over here at my mom's house today, just kind of relaxing. It's so beautiful outside and um, it's really warm actually for this time of year. Did you do a poopies? Oh, he did. You did the poopies. That's what you should be doing. Anyway, so I will check in with you guys a little bit later on. Oh, look, he's going to kiss him. He always kisses him. It's like brotherly love or gay friends. morning um, I didn't vlog too much yesterday just because I was kind of busy throughout the day with taking care of the dogs and all that stuff and um, I just kind of didn't get around to it but this morning I am up I'm not dressed yet but I'm showered and I straightened my hair I am going to be filming the Walmart beauty box that I had got in the mail yesterday I really think that it's a good deal. I think that you guys should seriously think about um, signing up for the box. And Snooky wants to get up here already. Come on. Come on. She's not going to do it. Oh, now she is. Oh. Oh. Baby. Okay. Anyway. So, yeah. I would definitely sign up for the box. Um, it's $5 and... Um, I'll be posting the video if I haven't already yet. It's $5 and you get it for all four seasons, um, but you pay $5 for each time you get it. And basically you're only paying for the shipping and the samples are, some of them aren't even samples. Some of them are full size. So that's a really good deal. Um, better than Birchbox for sure in my mind. I just... I don't like Birchbox. Um, for those of you that get it, that's great if you guys like it. But I, I got it for, I think, like a year. And I just stopped my subscription. Like I think it was actually last year around this time. And I just didn't like it at all. But anyway, so I'm going to be filming that. And then my daughter is going to be coming over later on. And yeah, I guess I should show you guys what I'm burning today. So I have Candied Apple Going by Yankee Candle, and this one is burning pretty good. I had to sweater it last week, but it's doing much better. And then from Keepers of the Light, I just have this Lavender Vanilla Candle going, and I really need to trim the wick again. I just finished um, trimming the wick and relighting it probably about an hour ago, and I've really had to keep close eye on this candle because the flame is super long. And then also in my bedroom by Keepers of the Light, I have Praline Caramel Sticky Buns. This one is throwing really good and it's also burning nice and even. Um, I just really love this company. And then in my bathroom by Goose Creek, I have Apple Pumpkin and this one is burning super, super nice and even and giving off a really strong scent throw. 
here in my living room i am burning vanilla chai by yankee candle this one smells absolutely amazing it is super strong only problem is is i'm having some tunneling issues so i believe today i'm going to have to put a sweater on it and then i'm almost done with the village candle apple pumpkin the wicks are still so super puny it's so crazy but i'm just burning it down because there's no sense in returning it now and then over here, I did have my Circle E Candle Apple Strudel lit. I am having major problems, you guys, with this company. This, this is the third candle that I have burned from this company, and this is the second candle that I've had problems with. So two out of three, uh, we're kind of pushing it, Circle E. Um, I'll kind of show you guys. I had to blow it out because the wicks are not centered. And as you guys can see, there is like major soot on the sides there. But yeah, it just, it's just, it's burning on one side and not the other. And then it's pooling over here. So I don't know if I should call the company or not. What do you guys think I should do? Hi, everyone. So um, I finished recording my Walmart beauty box and that went really well. I'm really pleased with the outcome of it. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys check that out. And actually, it's going to be posted already on my YouTube page or on my YouTube uh, channel. But anyway, so I just kind of wanted to touch base with you guys as to how everything went yesterday or not yesterday on Friday with the adoption. I didn't really talk about it much uh, with you guys, but so basically what happened was um, my mom and I packed the guinea pigs up and um, got into the car and drove to the rescue and as I walked in um, There was a little girl sitting on the bench looking extremely excited just a little peach and She was there with her mom and her dad and they were Surprisingly equally excited. It was the cutest thing um, I took the guinea pigs out of the cage and the little girl immediately wanted to hold them um, so I had her hold Angel first and she was like rubbing her hair through her fingers it was just the cutest thing ever and this little girl has never owned guinea pigs before so this was a whole new experience for her um, the mom held the other guinea pig. Then after a while, the dad held um, Stella, the one that I named Stella. She renamed them. But anyway, it was like seriously a wonderful experience. The mom actually got tears in her eyes because it was literally like the perfect match. It was the perfect, it was the perfect situation to a happy ending. So they were asking all these questions and wanting all this information and it was just it was so nice to see such a happy ending and that is why i foster guinea pigs um you know you guys kind of saw me getting a little bit upset and sad that i had to pack them up and have them leave but it's those situations that make it worthwhile for me, knowing that um, I'm helping these animals, I'm nurturing them back to health, some of them very, very sick, um, some of them emaciated, uh, some of them neglected, and getting them back to where they can be adopted and placed in a forever home. So that is why I do what I do. But anyway, I will insert a picture here of the little pumpkins. So yeah, so they were just so happy and it was an amazing experience. My mom was with me and it was just, it was a really, really good uh, outcome and I was very happy with it. So anyway, so right now I am just going to be watching the United States of Terra for a little bit. Then I want to clean my uh, home and just kind of relax with the dog and wait for my daughter to come, uh, maybe get some lunch. I didn't have any breakfast again because... Um, I should have had a banana or something. I did have coffee. Coffee is probably not a good idea on an empty stomach. But anyway, um, I will catch up with you guys a little bit later on today. 
Hi everyone. So I forgot um, to show you guys the hay that I got from the Clean Mama Hay Company. This is the big box that I ordered. Now if you guys have guinea pigs or rabbits or any kind of animal that needs hay, I highly, highly suggest ordering from this company. I actually got 18 pounds of hay. Um, I got bluegrass and then also third cut Timothy hay. And this hay, I mean, there's a lot here. This is going to last me as being um, a foster person for guinea pigs. This is going to last me a year. And it is nine pounds of bluegrass and nine pounds of the Timothy hay. So 18 pounds total. And the hay itself came to $20. It was, I believe, nine for the Timothy and 11 for the bluegrass. What really killed me was the shipping. I believe the shipping was close to $18. So that's what kind of kills me. But I feel like it's worth it for the pigs because most of the pigs that I get um, have health issues or need to put on weight. So I want to make sure and give them a good quality hay. So this is the box that it came in. And I just kind of want to show you guys the quality of this hay. It is literally lush green and unbelievable and it smells so so good so the guinea pigs that i foster pretty much love bluegrass hay uh the best but what i do is i mix the bluegrass with the timothy and i have not opened up the timothy as of yet so i'm gonna quick do that now here hold on a second Okay, and there is the Timothy hay. It is very lush and green, not a lot of brown to it. Um, it looks really, really nice, and I am definitely impressed. It smells delicious um, for hay, I guess, that is. But yeah, I just do a mixture of both. So if you guys are interested, um, I will also leave the link to the Clean Mama Hay down below so you guys can order. Hey everyone, so Izzy came over and she's going to show you guys, or I'm going to show you guys what she all shopped for because that's what happens when the kids come over, they go shopping. So, haha, ha, look what I'm giving her, you guys. Ha ha. Well, let's just say, Izzy, that I didn't really like this, but... It smells like yogurt, though. It does smell like yogurt, but it's really not, and I pray that you like it. And then um, she also picked up this Aromatherapy Sleep in Lavender Vanilla. She picked up this Mediterranean Lemon in the Hand Soap. And then this is a three pack of uh, Body Lotion in Sun. What else? Sky. Earth. No, it's not Earth. It's green. Air. And then, is that it? Yep. You didn't get any candles? No, I didn't get any candles. Oh, well, I'm a hoarder of candles. Hey, guys. So, it's getting to be evening. It is 7 o'clock. And I decided that I'm going to be putting something in my urn, my Yankee Candle um, centerpiece. And I found this. This is by Cupcake Candles. I don't know if all you oldies but goodies out there remember Cupcake Candles. Um, I believe that she had to close her shop because she uh, found out that she had cancer and had to do chemo. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I am wrong, but I just love um, all of her scents that she does. And this is a pop tart. So I don't know if I'm going to use the whole pop tart or just half of it, but this is in the scent Eucalyptus and Spearmint. So I thought that this would be a good nighttime melt. Hi everybody. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I have my pajamas on and I am totally ready for bed. I'm going to watch some YouTube videos right now. But anyway, thank you guys so much for sticking with me this weekend. Don't forget to subscribe for more vlogs and more videos throughout the week. And yeah, check out my Facebook group page because we have a lot of stuff going on there. It has got really busy super fast. I have um, lots of people joining, so make sure to check that out. And thank you guys so much for sticking with me this weekend and have a great week. Bye, everyone.